Here we go. This your generation, Dion Price. Connect before you correct. This goes out to the parents, youth workers, youth themselves, and those who in any capacity are working with young people. The successful tool that has been proven to be effective when you want to reach, redirect, and connect with youth, particularly this youth generation, you would have to establish a connection with them first. As a young youth worker and a community center that I worked at in East Palo Alto, I witnessed and experienced two youth that were going at it, just physical, physically going at it. They were in an in a all out brawl. Many of the co-workers in this summer program was trying to pull these young men apart. We couldn't do it. They were at each other. They were passionate about it. Suddenly, one of our, my mentor and the director at that time, Dr. Z, we'll call him, came over. And as we're trying our best to get these young men uh, and get in between them struggling, he comes over and whispers something in one of their ears. And it was amazing. It was like, almost like a sedative. A sedative. He just kind of laid back, giving us enough uh, enough leeway to get in between and separate these two young men. I was so impressed with that. Here we are trying to use physical strength and this older, frail, 60, late 67 year old was able to communicate something in that young man's ear that make him retreat. I was so impressive and so powerful. Years later, Dr. Z schooled me on what that was, that power he had. I was very impressed with that. What could he do? What did he say? Well, he established a connection, and I'll share with you what he said with him later on, But and I use the very same technique uh, to this day. Recently, I saw some young men in a very dangerous environment, on a corner, in an environment that's notorious for, uh, for violence and illegal activity, and I saw one of the young men that I work with on a regular basis. I walked up to him in what would be a dangerous environment, but I walked up in that group and whispered a similar thing, almost the same thing in the same young man's ear. What did he do? He said, you right, Coach D, I'll be right back. I'm out of here. And he established that he will be out of that environment. What did we say to him? I said the same thing to that young man that Dr. Z said to the other young man in the example that I gave. The same thing. You mean too much to me to get yourself hurt or in trouble out here. You mean too much to me. You got too much going for yourself. We established a connection. When a young person knows that you care, everything that comes out of your mouth after that will be received a lot better when they know you made that connection. That sincere God they love. They could care less how much you know until they know how much you care. So whether you're a parent, a youth worker, a, in any capacity, work with young people, establish some type of connection. It could be a common ground. It could be a common interest. It could be stories. It could be anything that relates you to that youth and they know that you have their best interest at heart. The power in that is connecting. Once you make that connection and that bond with that individual, once you have to redirect or connect with them, it will be received much more easier than it would had they they'd been a barrier. Because youth will know, young person will know whether you give a damn about them or not. You can't fake that. You cannot do this work half-hearted. You have to have sincere agape love for the well-being. And no matter how harsh you are to them, they know that that delivery is delivered out of genuine love and care and concern. Same with the coach. If a coach is sweating this young man because he knows that he can do better, because he cares about his performance, he knows he can do better. It's the same with your child, your team, your students, your uh, the, any young person you're working with. If you establish a healthy connection, a genuine connection, then the correction will come easy. Remember, connect before you correct. This is your generation, Dion Price, just a humble servant trying to make a difference. If you appreciate this type of program, subscribe to the channel and let's keep this movement going.